Hello! Thank you for checking out our video today. We are going to do an experiment to see if we can make a boat that can hold some weight. This is our penny boat challenge experiment. Okay, to do the experiment you're going to need a few items. First, some aluminum foil, a ruler or measuring tape, something to mark with, and a set of scissors. You will also need a container of water, something big enough for your boat to float around in freely, and a good amount of pennies. So the first thing that you're going to do is tear off a piece of aluminum foil, and you will need your ruler to measure. Everyone is going to start with the same size piece, so you're going to measure a 6 by 6 inch square. The square does not have to be exactly straight, you just want to make sure that it's roughly 6 by 6 inches. Then you're going to cut out your square. Now you get to be creative. You can fold this piece of foil into any shape boat you want. Tin foil will float on top of the water and then you will need to add pennies one by one, keeping count until the boat starts to sink. So, I'm going to try to make something with some height on the side to keep the water out. I'm going to try to make it look a little bit like a boat. After you have made your boat, before it gets wet, we would love to see what you made. Take a picture of your boat and you can share it with us on social media. After the challenge, let us know how many pennies your boat was able to hold. So now it's time to test it out. Place the boat in the water. Make sure it is freely floating and grab a handful of pennies. Now we're going to add pennies one by one until it starts to take on water and sink. I'm going to try to spread the pennies around instead of in a pile in the middle, distributing the weight because I think that will allow me to add the most pennies. I've added 20 pennies and I saw some water start to seep in over the edge. I stopped adding pennies to see if it would continue to float. And no, the boat was not able to hold more than 20 pennies. There are many different designs you could try, something like a raft, or maybe you want to try making a smaller boat and really build up the sides. Whatever you decide, let us know how many pennies your boat could hold. You may want to try this experiment a few different times. Each of these boats were made with the same size square of aluminum foil. We found that a wider boat was able to hold more pennies because you could distribute the pennies over a larger surface. Think about a big cargo ship. They can hold a lot of weight, sometimes even more than the weight of the boat itself because the shape of these boats are very spread out over the surface of the water. Let us know what boat shape worked best for you. Are you wondering why some boats can hold more pennies than others? Don't forget that pennies add weight. Your boat can only float if the weight of the boat equals the weight of the water that is pushed out of the way by the boat. If we use this scale to put in more pennies, 
you can see that eventually you can balance it so the weight of the pennies equals the weight of the water. This would be the amount of pennies that your boat could hold. In this case, we have 100 pennies in this container. If one penny is 2.5 grams, how much do you think this water weighs? 